two, three. Praise the Lord. And I am excited to share August 24th, Tuesday's devotional for Life Point Church. This is an exciting day, although it is an unofficial holiday. It is National Waffle Day. It was on this day in 1869 that the United States offered its first patent for a waffle iron, and it was issued to Cornelius Swartward. Early waffles were made by the Greeks using two large irons to make hot flat cakes. The early hot cakes were savory and not usually sweet. It wasn't until the 17th century that sweetened waffles were eaten. General Electric started selling the first electric waffle iron in 1918, which brought about the increase and in love for breakfast waffle making in our homes. Aren't you excited for that? Today, we see waffle irons that create those wonderful, tasty waffles in so many different shapes. Maybe you have one sitting in your cupboard at home right now. Perhaps waffles in the shape of Mickey Mouse, hearts, emojis. Oh, we've got waffles in just about anything that you can imagine right now. Waffles can be eaten in such a variety of different ways. We have waffles covered with chocolate syrup. That doesn't sound too bad. How about this one? Chicken served on top of waffles. We have three cheese waffles. We have chili covered waffles. And how about this one? I never even knew this was a possibility. Mac and cheese waffles. Really? Wow. I don't know about you, but I will stick to my waffles covered in maple syrup, butter, and maybe a sliced banana. The word waffle as a verb has an entirely different meaning. Macmillan D Dictionary defines the verb waffle as avoiding a decision or stating a clear stance. To waffle between opinions is to go back and forth, choosing one side, then the other. We as Christians need to make sure that we do not waffle. <laughs> we need to hold fast to Jesus. In a world that is so crazy with so much pressure that we face in many different circumstances, many different places, we need to make sure that we are not waffling, but we are dedicated, committed, and entirely fixed on Jesus. First Kings 18 21 says, how long will you halt between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. How long are you going to waffle back and forth is what he was asking. My heart is fixed, like the psalmist David said. My heart is fixed on God. I am not going to go back and forth, but I am going to stay dedicated and committed. Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. 37, Jesus said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. It doesn't sound like there's much time for waffling in that scripture. We need to make up our mind and live for Jesus every day, no matter where we were, where we are and what we're doing or who we're with. I have made up my mind. My decision is firm. I want to live for Jesus. It's the best life you can ever have. So on this National Waffle Day, Go eat some waffles, but just don't waffle in your dedication and love for Jesus. God bless you.